that's pretty that's pretty much it uh, I, I kind of feel bad that i'm about to get drunk in front of you why you feel bad nigga because you don't you're younger and it's like i'm a bad influence like getting drunk nigga. In front of you. i didn't motherfucking been in the damn club and i'm not even before i even turn bro go ahead bro i'm still a regular nigga i just don't drink just because it's around me, that don't mean you got a young guy follow everything that's around you, you feel me? That tells a lot about, about your character because you're not a follower, just like how we was talking in the car. Yeah. What type of hoodie is that? This the, uh, I don't know, I don't know if you know him. You know who Codeine is? Who? The, the Codeine clothes. His, his clothes say Codeine. Oh, yeah, I've seen him before. Like, well, like I've yeah. seen a girl wearing before. Yeah. It's his shit for real. He gave me this shit for real. This shit hard. That shit's hard. Shout out to him. Hell yeah, shout out to him. It's my first time wearing this shit, too. Before Shout I, I with it. <laughs> that was my first time. I, I was say I was saving this bitch for. I told you I don't do shit, bro. So like when I get pieces and shit, I be saving that shit for when the fuck I do go outside. Oh, and today was the day for it to wear. So now he ready to get some promo out of this shit. Hey man, shout out to him. I, I need to. Um, you, you running? Uh, sorry. Um, yo, we back in here. Number one podcast. I just burped. Excuse me. The twenty million dollar podcast. And today, this week, we have another banger. We have another. We have another motherfucker on here putting on for the city. And that's all you need to know. And today we're talking to Craig. They can't hear you clapping in the back. I'm supposed to clap? No, you the guest. We're oh, shit. You. I don't know what Craig was, but I'm Craig. Craig. You feel me? What's up, Chris? How you Craig. feeling today, bro? Welcome to the network. How you feeling, man? Um, this I'm good. I'm good personally. How about you? It's, I know it's pretty hot in here already. We just started. Man, I ain't worried about the heat, man. We alive, bro. It's nothing that can make me down. You feel me? We alive, man. I'm always happy. That's always, confidence. Always, we always good, man. That's confidence. Uh, what's up? What you been up to today? What's up? Tell me. Putting out content, mm-hmm. grinding, staying out the way, trying to stay alive in the city of Baltimore. Yeah, that's pretty much it for real. It's pretty much it for real. You feel me? I just dropped a uh I just dropped a horror movie. Like a short film horror movie. Yeah, I seen that. And you feel me? It was supposed to be on some, like some scary shit. I'm trying to switch up the flow, you feel me? It's definitely like, different. You know what I mean? Yeah, like a lot of people well, basically everybody you feel me they starting to know me for the skits for real, but a lot of motherfuckers don't know, like the skits was never even like the comedy shit was never even really the original plan, you feel me? It was always just I wanted to make content, content for people like, and yeah, like you can put out type thing. Like we're in December right now, but like mentally, I'm already in 2024, right? Oh, so shit. that's why that's why you feel me. That's why I dropped that um. That's why I dropped the movie because it's like I'm already like, bro, we gotta start getting on some different shit now. So it's like, you feel me? I'm not the type of person to keep talking about what I'm gonna do in 2024 and all of that a thousand times. I'm gonna just show y'all, but just know. It's gonna be a lot of different shit, you feel me? More than just skits and shit. A lot of YouTube shit coming, okay. traveling, vlogs and shit like that. Um, if 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 you don't know by now, if you don't recognize the face, you probably seen he probably pop, popped up on your feed or what or, or he probably was another popular video that you've seen. Um and I'm glad to have the opportunity to sit here and talk with him. So uh I I, I honestly wanna start where I honest cause I know this your first interview, I wanna start mm-hmm. where it starts. Where what what's you graduated, you, you, what, what, when was the first video you put out? Let me start from there. All right. All right. We're going to take it all the way back. We're going to take it all the way back. The first video I ever posted was a 2K video. Me playing the game, bro. I used to be a fucking gamer. What year was it? That was like 2017. That's where I got into the YouTube. That was my first ever, like, okay, I've I seen, like, content can bring joy you can have fun making content i had fun making 2k videos i got older started getting bored of the game started going outside more started riding bikes i was riding the pedal bikes that became content too because i was making videos and shit like that so that all became youtube and instagram content i say the bikes got me to about like three to four k followers i was at like four k followers off just riding bikes everybody that followed me where you were originally like, what you were at like 200 700 what you mean originally i ain't gonna lie i never really kept no track of my followers you feel me i say like now 
like is when I just started really like okay checking my page and really looking exactly how many followers I was at or like seeing how much I was growing you feel me growing at a time but back then I was literally just posting and posting and posting I didn't even know people was making money from content I'm thinking people just really doing it out here you feel I'm thinking everything is just mm. you feel me so I always it always started with just the love of making content just mm. making videos just okay I edited something and people watched it like just that just that niche right there by itself for real it's just good so enough yeah, by itself it started it just started moving on for real one day you feel me I like I, I took a break from riding the bikes for real you feel me and one day I was sitting with my mans and I was already doing like public interviews like you mm -hmm. feel me like before the comedy I was doing like you feel me public interviews embarrassing people and shit like that making like saying trick questions and shit yeah, like I that but I don't know something just told me I was like yo we gotta find something. We got, we got, we gotta find something. It's gonna be something. Like I'm in, I'm into being open minded. Like I never thought I was gonna do comedy, bro. Like five years, like I said, I was just riding bikes and playing the game. I never thought, ever, 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 ever thought I was gonna be making comedy skits ever, like ever. And now, 2023, that's what I'm doing. So it's just like. <laughs> I'm always just being open minded because you feel me. You, you just gotta know. stay open minded. You never know how. You never know how. Just a just a side thought can just change everything for you. Yeah. So the first video, the first comedy skit, was back in I think December, December of last year. It been a whole year. Like, Congratulations on the your anniversary. The your first anniversary. skit. The the very the very first skit was last year. I was with my man's. I was like, bro, let's make a skit, and we did. How like um when your man's be, like when your man's be hating on each other for real like 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 basically like when it, them dudes that's in your circle where if you tell them your accomplishments and people that's watching, all my skits are truth behind they them. Are. You feel me? So any video that I make, I put truth behind it. You feel me? I'm not just not just trying to make y'all laugh. I'm really putting out real messages. And the video was the dudes that be in your circle. That low key be hating. So if I tell my friend, yo, I just got a new iPhone 13, he hitting me with the, why you ain't get the 14? I'm like, bro, I just copped the Honda. He like, why you ain't get a Hellcat? Like, bro, why can't you just be happy for me? Why can't you just be, I'm like, yeah, bro, that. I told bro, I just got a PlayStation 5. Bro, talking about, I got 73 PlayStations in my backyard. Like, what are you talking about, bro? You gotta, you gotta, you Everybody gotta, you gotta watch out, one. you gotta watch out for them niggas that's always trying to one up you, you feel me? And after that, after I dropped that video, like I said, because I was literally, I literally just went from bikes and public interviews to post a skit. So I was, I was nervous. I was like, bro, I'm ready to post a funny, a funny skit. Like niggas gonna be like, what the fuck, what the fuck made him post this? And I posted it, and niggas was laughing, and I was like, fuck it, let's make another one. And I think the second, one, I forgot what the second one was. I did something like, uh, how. How dudes say anything to uh, impress a female, and I had a video of me like talking to the girl, and I was like saying some outrageous shit about how like I'm killing <laughs> yeah, niggas yeah, and shit like that. I'm getting yeah, so man. much money yeah, and that. all of this shit that, like that. Yeah. After that, people start laughing at that, and like I said, it's just any anything you do. When I was riding the bikes, I didn't know how Willie a bike. I kept going and going, and now I know how Willie bikes. When I was doing content, I didn't know how to really put out quality skits quality videos and i just mm -hmm. kept going i just kept posting skits and i just kept saying okay let's make another one let's make another one and i just kept learning i started watching other people i just start getting a grasp of what the people like to see mm -hmm. and that's really relatable shit and the truth i feel like when it comes to comedy relatable shit mm -hmm. and the truth is is the best shit like me saying shit that's really so that if, you, if you had to like i know you said like you was you, you started focusing on actual content and like what you were putting out. Uh, what were the, what were you feel like the key things that were in your content that made them stand out? That made them different. You know what I mean? Um, I'm gonna say the explosiveness. Yeah. I'm gonna say, like I said, the truth. You feel me? The being the tr being truthful and. You can just, like, honestly, just me being genuinely funny. Like, that also, like, anything that you do, all the things that I said surrounded the quality, all that surrounds it. But if you're not genuinely funny, you feel me, it's not going to, 
it's not going to really stand out. And I, like I said, I would say truthful things in certain ways that it was like, bro, he said that? Like, like who would say something like that? But it's like, damn, you really sit back and listen. He's like, damn, he said some real shit, though. You're saying exactly saying, what you're saying, we're you, thinking, you, you know what you I mean? You feel me? You, you're saying you, he said some real shit, though. So it's just like, damn. What was what was going on around your life? What was going on around your life uh, during the time when you wanted to start doing like doing that transition from riding bikes to doing skits? Like, what was going on around your life that you feel that, like that was actually like that was actually like that was a it was actually kind of like a dark turn for real for real to be honest with you because it was like when I stopped like the, when I was doing the bikes as my main thing. That was like how, like I was taking the bikes as serious as I take the comedy, you feel me? Like I was traveling with the bikes, I was going to New York and shit like that, going to Philly. I was really making videos, vlogging, meet with other people, other bike, pe- like people that make content on bikes mm-hmm. and shit like that. They be riding them bikes so on Philly. So it's like, what I did was, this bike company, it's like a million dollar bike company. They sent me this bike. Mm-hmm. I was basically sponsored by them and I sold the bike. And when I sold the bike, it was like the money that I used, like, you feel me, like the money that I got from selling the bike just ended up just vanishing, you feel me, like that shit got spent like nothing. So in my mind, I was just like, damn, did I just do one of the dumbest things I ever did? I sold, and like in my mind, I was like, damn, I'm selling, I sold a gift, you feel me, from somebody. And now it was like, damn, now, now what I'm about to do now, because now I got a good bike, you feel me. To make my content and then a couple months later i ain't gonna go too deep into it because you feel me but the people that know that's in that community know like that bike company had got exposed for some shit you feel me for you feel me for some shit for, for real. some shit that's so all it's like say. damn it was kind of like a a saving and then like i said one day we just decided to make the skit and now it was like I can fucking just, you feel me, just fucking buy another bike type shit. You feel me? Like, I, I can just buy the same bike. Because, like I said, they sent it to me for free because it wasn't a cheap bike. I should have, like, $1,000 bike. So, it was like, shit. you feel me? I'm like, damn. But now, a nigga can buy another one and mix up my content. You feel me? Like, that, like I said, 2024, shit about to get serious. Like I said, the, it, I'm gonna make I'm making content for all of my people. I'm still I'm gonna go back to making two K videos. I'm gonna go back Shit. to making. You gonna do the whole gonna, thing? You feel me? I'm gonna do everything. Like so, my, I want. You said what? No, no, go ahead. I, I was just saying like my thing was just to be like in my bio, it say Craig the Entertainer. Mm-hmm. Like I never put comedian in my bio, and I don't think nobody never noticed that. Like I never so you're not, call myself you're not a comedian. Be doing no, you're not about you to be doing no. I'm stand-ups. really I'm really an entertainer. I want to be in movies and shit. Mm-hmm. You feel me? I want to. Like I said, make vlogs and shit. You feel me? I was vlogging when I came here. I want to do interviews and shit. Shit, I might, I, I might be the one interviewing people. I'm trying to, you feel me? I might have a rapper, or somebody, if another influencer, comedian sitting right here while I'm talking hey, to them, interviewing that them. Sound lit. If you, you need somebody me? recording, I feel get like me I do. I, I feel like I could do, you feel me? All type of things for. Her. I just want to be an all around content creator mm-hmm. in 2024. You feel me? That's really my plan right now. Mm-hmm. I ain't you want to you want to get all corners yourself. You want to do an in house shit. Hell you know yeah, I, mean? I feel like 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 because people don't know, everybody that's big to a certain level, they literally started off doing other shit. You know who Casanet is? Yeah, Casanet literally was doing the same thing I was doing. Mm-hmm. Like when, like when he was still in New York, like still in the hood and shit. In the trenches. He was me. He, he was making skits, doing videos with Ron Simo and, and shit. I feel like you know, and I feel like. That's the whole thing about. Are you a Christian? You religious? Anything? No, it doesn't matter. I'm gonna say it anyway. Good. <laughs> I feel like I feel like, I feel like um, if you don't believe in God, the higher power, whoever you believe in, I feel mm-hmm. like the whole point of life isn't to just get out the womb and start doing exactly what you need to be doing. I feel like it's a thing where like your whole life trials and tribulations mm-hmm. prepare you for this exact moment that you're in, type thing. Hell yeah. And I feel yeah. like. And I, and I feel like the more you the more you think about it, what you're doing, if you're doing the right or wrong thing, like Nick, you have a lifetime to go. You know what I mean? That's definitely, cool. definitely, definitely, definitely. I definitely, uh, you feel me? I believe in the like how to how, how to explain it. I believe in you feel me a higher God. You feel me? But I believe you gotta also work with God. You feel me? Mm-hmm. So like, it's a lot of people. That really just think like okay, it's like it's a lot of people that wake up, scroll on IG. They they wake up, scroll on IG all day, 
see other people with all this money living life taking trips and they like god where's my blessing look, look let me just pray and get my blessing i feel as though you gotta work with god because god is giving you that blessing he's blessing you to wake up in a hole you can't waste these 24 hours god just bless us to wake up and you mean to tell me you're gonna sit there and waste that 24 hours mm -hmm. and then go complain to him and be like you feel me things are going right so like when i talk to god i thank god for blessing me with the air not the things that he give me you feel me i thank god for just waking me up you feel me like like when i'm talking to god i'm like thank you god for waking me up like bro i'm really here another day on earth like that's a blessing because now I need to show you that I'm grateful. And me showing you that I'm grateful, I'm going to get up and work and make something. Spreading his word. I'm going to make something with my life. And you feel me? Show you, like like I said, you work, God going to work with you. Like I said, you got to be genuine. Okay. I believe in that karma. Hell yeah. Karma is a I real believe, thing. I believe. I, I mean, believe I don't believe karma. in karma, but, but all right, let's, I, I got another question for you. Go ahead. When was your first, what, can you, can you recall me your first viral video? Say it again. Can you recall your first viral video? My first viral, it's... I mean, right, viral say, is, right, a, look, is, a, look. is a big word. You know what I mean? Right, Any, you know what I mean? My, you know right. my first semi-viral video was I dropped a video back in June. Baltimore City Police, they went and took like 33 dirt bikes and ATVs from a garage out of Park Heights. You feel me? And they was all messed up bikes and stuff like that. And it just goes to show like Bruh, this motherfucker's out here killing people and shit, and the police is worried about bikes. Taking so, out fun away type shit. You feel me? <laughs> and like I said, remember back to me already having a lot of bike friends and shit like that. I said, damn, now I'm doing comedy. Let me figure out a way to mix that shit. And like I said, because with comedy and entertainment, catching a trend mm -hmm. is what's going to get shit popping. If anybody watching trying to do comedy, catch them trends. Mm -hmm. When the air quality shit was fucked up, I straight made a video about it. When fucking sexy red shit got leaked, I made a video about it. Mm -hmm. When fucking anything happened, I'm gonna make a video about the shit because that's what's gonna catch the if you, attention. If you're watching this right now and you didn't do a video about Diddy yet, you're hustling backwards for an Yo, example. I was, I was literally just, I was really, I literally got that in my notes, like in my, <laughs> like in my notes of ideas to do the Diddy shit because that shit just happened. Like I said, so when that shit happened, I'm like, damn, I'm straight. I rushed, bro. Like. As soon as I seen Murder Inc, bro, I ran up, bro, because the shit was on Murder Inc. I ran like everybody was posting that shit, cause the city was outraged for real. Like I said, y'all worrying about the wrong things for real. So I straight got I made a video mocking the police. How Baltimore City Police be like, yo, somebody on a dirt bike, we need to go kill him. And then I had somebody else that's really calling with a real problem, like, yo, is somebody in my house trying to kill me? Oh, I saw that video. And they not and, 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 and they, and, not, and they not responding. Yeah. You feel me? I had a clip. Dirt, but, yeah. Like I said, it just all goes back. Like I said, the throwing the truth in there, the catching the trend. All of it just all circles together. It all just goes circle. Yeah. You feel me? Part yeah. of the trend is the truth. You know what I mean? Part of the trend, is part of the truth is the trend. But when I posted that man, it was I ain't gonna lie. It was up after that. The whole city was posting that. But remember, that's just my first. I say local viral video. Mm. You feel me? After that, I learned like, okay, once you get that one banger, you can't stop. I was still only like when I dropped that video, I was still only at 4K followers, and that was just back in June. That yeah. was that was just back in June of this year. I was still I was at only I was only at 4K followers. I was like, okay, let me keep posting. Let me make another one. And later after I dropped that, the whole month of June, I just wouldn't stop dropping. Like every day, like I was dropping three videos every day. I was dropping three videos a day. Three videos a day. That I was, was dropping three. That was I ain't gonna say the specific schedule, but around but like that, one, one to you three. You feel me? One to I didn't. Yeah, I didn't definitely had days where I was dropping three to four. Like fuck it, like bro, they bangers and they was all bangers. Like I was in that mode. Like I wasn't just dropping shitty content. I was really. Dropping good funny shit because I was hungry and I was I'm still am hungry. I'm nowhere. I'm still in rookie mode. You feel mm -hmm. me? Like I'm nowhere near. You feel me? Yeah, Where the fuck I feel like I can be with this mode, shit. Yeah. So it was like I was like, damn, I just gotta keep going. And you know, a lot of niggas get it fucked up because they have that first two, three, four, five viral videos and they don't fuck think that. and they and they and then they think I'm not the rookie no more. I'm a veteran type shit. Bro, this is my this is my motto, bro. However many followers I got. I want to have that in in cash. 
literally i got i got 30 something k followers on instagram right now i don't give a fuck about them goddamn followers man i want 30k racks off of comedy i don't want 30k followers off comedy but this is just what's going to get me there the followers is just going to you got to build your platform so you feel me i'm not saying fuck the followers but instagram specifically you got to start doing other things like youtube tiktok streaming because all instagram is going to do all instagram is going to do is take all them assets and just keep it for themselves they're not you about to me? break you off instagram, until you have millions of views. instagram instagram used to pay you for reels but that shit was that like, like for a couple whack, months man. and that shit they don't do that shit no more yeah i know feel me like i said tiktok youtube they the things people need to get on dropping a merch you feel me that's coming soon for my people i'm trying to drop a merch soon just what's the merch take what's, what's the merch going what's going to be on the merch I don't want to spill too much sauce. You don't, don't, right, don't, don't got to give us exclusive. I do want to say this. I do want to say this. The name that I was thinking of is Curse Breakers. You feel me? It's something. It's a name that nobody used, you feel me, for any brands or nothing. And like I said, I wanted I wanted to mean something. You feel me? And I feel like the name Curse Breakers, like what it mean to me is I feel like I'm going to really break the curse. Like, like shit in my family, in the city. You feel me? Like I said, I'm 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 just like you feel me. The other people that be watching this shit like that. I'm from the hood, regular. You feel me? It's like I'm trying to break the curse of the statistics. Young black nigga dying, going to jail mm-hmm. on, the, on the on the block. You feel me? I'm trying to I'm trying to show people like, damn, we're actually other than that. You really can do some different shit. Like it's possible, bro. Like people don't realize when you sitting back in the house watching YouTube and you see them. You feel me? rich kids and shit driving mclarens and shit like that mm. you don't even realize it could be you everybody started from somewhere so, of course of course unless you was born rich yeah, but yeah, yeah, besides course. that everybody else everybody so, started somewhere so i know i know i already asked you this i'm sorry did i cut you off no oh i i do want to add on though you feel me because i gotta throw that out there you asked about the viral video mm-hmm. like i said after i after after that one video with the police got hella traction the whole city was posting it i said okay we got to keep going because now we got to broaden the audience and i just kept going kept posting kept posting okay and we dropped this video uh to do uh how like the nigga that say he always trying to put you on uh, oh, and, it's like, oh and it's like i said something like like say like i had i had the cameraman say i'm about to get in the shower and then i was like now niggas want to get in the shower you ain't want to start getting the shower until i start getting in the shower <laughs> You feel me? I put niggas on, bro. <laughs> and that shit, bro. <laughs> oh, that shit. shit. Like, when I say that, that shit went crazy, bro. Like, that bitch had a million. Fucking Polo G like that bitch. Fucking. Polo G? Fucking Polo G, bro. What fucking, is he doing on Instagram? You know what I'm saying? Fuck Polo G, bro. <laughs> Hell of a lot. Hella, hella celebrities was fucking with that shit, bro. That bitch just went insane and it was like i wasn't expecting it and that's why you can never stop bro Mm -hmm. like never stop because i swear to god from lying bro i swear two days before that video went viral i was really just thinking about quitting that shit bro like before i posted the uh the police video i was just thinking about quitting this shit i I was I, i was looking at my instagram i was looking at my shit like damn bro i probably look dumb as shit keep posting these goofy ass videos that's how for, I feel. For, for 20 likes and shit. I was like, what yeah. the fuck? I, probably, I look dumb as shit. I was like, bro, I'm about to stop, bro. Like, I'm ready. To, you feel me? I, I said, I'm about to switch up the flow again. I'm about, to, I'm about to find something else in there. I'm like, bro, nah. Then I told myself, like, yo, if you really believe in this shit, you going to keep pushing that shit. Mm-hmm. Niggas going to start fucking with you. Okay. Two days later, that's what happened. That's what happened, for real. And, and, that's, and that's great to see, you know what I mean? Um, another question that I do have for you uh, is, is an upbringing question. What high school did you go to? What type of per- I mean, you're you're a young guy. Mm. You're, you, like you know what I mean. I'm I'm older than you. You're you, you're you know what I mean. So what high school are you going to? And how what type of nigga are you in high school? Usually it's in, past tense when I ask the question, but I went to I went to City Neighbors High School, not City, but it's the, City Neighbors. But the other city. Yeah, the other city. The, other, the, the other City Neighbors. Yeah. Cause like bro, whenever I tell people that they be like you went to City, I'm like no, I didn't go to City. But the city neighbors, the other city, yeah, that's city the, neighbors high That's how school. you said the Baltimore niggas, like not the city, but the other city. That's yeah. how you said it. But no, that, um, that shit was cool for real. Like I said, at like when, like when I first came into high school, I was quiet as shit. Like I ain't say shit to nobody for real. Like I was just like I was just a nigga just sit there like. Most all yeah. Yeah, you feel me? Shit, I ain't gonna lie. Like back in the back in school days, I was always goddamn fighting and shit like that. 
you feel me, like middle school, elementary school and shit. So that shit just transferred over to high school. But high school was so different because in high school is like, like you just like, like high school is just like social media and shit. It's just like, you just get pressured by so like all the shit that's yeah, around so you pressure. and shit like that. Like, let me, like let me ask you an in between. You let me crazy. ask you an in between question. You said um, yeah. when you were in, you said when you were in school that you used to get in a lot of fights before you got to high school. And I want to ask you as a fighter nigga to a fighter nigga, what is the most funniest fight that you've been in? Funniest fight. Not the, the not the not the most fight where you be like, yeah, I knocked the nigga out. He fell on the ground. I'm talking about the funniest fight. The funniest fight. The funniest fight. Yeah, I know you got one. I could, hey, you don't know. A funny fight. Them city, them city neighbor niggas be getting down too. Don't, don't get it confused. I don't know, bro. No shit don't be funny, one. bro. That shit don't be funny. <laughs> don't shit be funny when you ready, with, like when you ready fucking nigga up, bro. Don't shit be funny, bro. Be like, all right, but hold on. Let me, let me really think. Cause I know I really got some funny shit. I'd probably say, I'd probably say the one dude, right? We was fighting, but like, like, like we literally made up right after the shit, cause it was like we wasn't even supposed to be fighting. I'm walking in the hallway, bro, and you know, like, like when your man's play and like act like he about to dig in your pocket, like, 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 act like, like, act like he trying to rob you type shit. Yeah. But niggas play like that, like, you feel me? Certain motherfuckers though, a lot, <laughs> like a lot of motherfuckers don't know boundary, boundaries and they shit. They don't know when to say you when. Feel me? This was a motherfucker that I didn't even really know for real. Like, he, we just went to school together. Like, just because we got class together, that don't mean you know me. So I'm walking in the hallway. He digging my pocket. I smack his hand. He like, bro, I'm just playing. I'm like, bro, I'm not playing like that, bro. I don't know you, bro. It's different if you my man. Nigga, even you, bro, if you, if, if, if you fucking did that shit, was like, I would just be like, stop playing. But it's like, nigga, you know you when to random, say when. You, <laughs> you know? a, ra- a random nigga, bro. Like, I do not know who he is, bro. I'm like, why are you doing that, bro? This nigga picked me up and put me in a... Bear hole, bro. Oh, like, bro, you know, like a big show. Did Mark he pick you up? Was, like, yes, pick me up, bro. He picked me up, and he he was tall as shit, bro. Like he was taller than me, bro. So I'm like, what the fuck are you doing, bro? Like this man just picked me up and just had me in a bear hug oh, in front of all the bitches, in front of, in front of all the bro. bitches, bro. That nigga had to die in front of bro. That bro, that be that be the worst, bro. When niggas be trying you in the hallway, bro. In front like, of in, the front of, in front of the bitches and all and, and, and everybody else. Not not even just not, not even just the girls. You feel me? That shit is man. I'm like, bro, what are you doing, bro? Long story short, he was he was holding me, bro. He held, he was holding me like five minutes, bro. Five minutes? Five minutes, bro. Like I'm fighting this nigga, bro. Like we literally fighting. Like I'm literally. Bro, you said, but like, do you know how bro. long five minutes is? Like, do you, is it really? Five really, really minutes. Five, right, minutes? Right, right, five five minutes is a long time. <laughs> like five, five minutes, minutes is crazy. I really say though, like dead ass, like. Like two minutes, like a minute forty five seconds, like dead oh, ass. Bro. Oh my, that's he, he really <laughs> wouldn't let me go. I was beat. I was like fucking trying to like swing at him, but he thinking I'm playing the whole time. But like the way he was holding me, he was holding me so goddamn tight that his couldn't even really connect how I really wanted him to connect. Yeah, you got your shit. You probably like, bro. I'm like, yeah, I'm like this. I, I, I got, I got the damn dinosaur <laughs> arms and shit trying to fight. This nigga put me down, bro. Slam this nigga, bro. And we start fighting, bro. They start breaking it up. We didn't even get suspended because we had this cool ass, cool ass, bro. Shout out to bro. I forgot his goddamn was name. It a, was it a regular? I was it another name. black person? No, yeah, it's yeah, a we, Mexican. We, yeah, no, 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 he was black. Why, why the fuck you say Mexican? I don't. I, what the fuck? Yeah. But you don't like Mexicans? I love Mexicans. But you gotta get my vodka. She Mexican. No, she not Mexican. I'm so lying. why you think? You you been Mexican though? Bro, it was a guy, I got bullied by a Mexican nigga. That's probably why. No. I got bullied, not bullied, but that, like that it, was probably some racist shit. I'm not racist, fuck, bro. If I ain't getting bullied, I don't care what nobody say. If you get bullied by another race, it's automatically racist. Like that's I'm what I'm saying. Like, that's what like, I'm like, thought. Like imagine, imagine really being a little black nigga and you coming home telling your parents, "Ma, this white kid in school be beat me up, put what?" Yeah, it was that ain't a racist. racist thing. Ain't a racist. Jose, it's over after this shit. It's up. But no, uh, high school. High school was a fucking uh, a fucking good time, but it's just like like I said, all the shit that our parents and shit was telling us when we was younger was really real life shit. Like all the Hell shit, yeah. like all the shit that we doing in school, fighting, 
you feel me, hanging with certain people, everybody not going to be your friend. I don't talk to none. It's so many motherfuckers that I used to be like, yeah, we brothers for life. We're going to be like, I don't even, I, I can't even, I, I don't even know if they're alive anymore. I can't like, even, I don't even remember like, all the people I said bro, with my brother. It's, it's so many motherfuckers in school that I just swore that we was ready to be brothers to the end. And I don't even know if these niggas are alive. I don't even know where they, I don't even know their names. Bro, don't it's know because their y'all, couldn't, names. y'all couldn't see bigger than that. Like, this, this, is, this is a whole, like, y'all was on, y'all was on a goddamn Y'all was on the playground on the goddamn, on the chip. Y'all was a malt chip. Y'all don't realize it's outside of the playground. It's a whole world out here. You, you know definitely, you definitely realize who, like, who, who your real friends are after motherfucking high school, for real, to be honest with you. Like, after high school, that's when you really start figuring out, okay, who really got your back out here in life and shit like that. And I feel as though in order to find that out is to have motherfuckers that got the same mindset and be as happy about the same shit as you. You need a motherfucker. You need motherfuckers around you, around you that take this podcast shit, this interview shit as serious as you. Like when you tell them, like, yo, I got this interview, they need to be as happy for this shit as you. You feel no, me? Real. They the motherfuckers that I want around me. The motherfuckers that really want me to win as much as I want me to win. You feel me? That's how, that, that's who you know who the fuck your real friends shit. and the real. And that's 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 real shit. That's real shit. You have to be outside if you if you want to start anything if you want to start fry cooking if you want to start start a bakery you have to believe that shit within yourself before you believe your girl or your man's you know what i mean you know what i'm, yeah. saying? You know what I'm talking about um yeah. what'd you say no i was just saying though like like i said high school high school like the young because i do got a lot of young young ass young ass motherfucking uh supporters and shit like that you feel me because like i said you say young ass twice that's that means the extra young no, 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 no. I don't mean extra. I mean, I really do got all ages of supporters. Like, it be low ass motherfucking kids and shit. Fucking text, fucking texting my DM saying, <laughs> saying, saying fucking, yo, yo. Like, like they text you and be like, yo, 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 yo. Like, you know, like, with little kids on the highway, yeah, type for real and yeah, shit yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah. I got motherfuckers my age. I got fucking old heads and shit, bro. I swear, like, I didn't fucking went to the store and an old lady was like, you that boy that be doing this video? I'm like, what, bro? This all this old ass lady talking about. Well, you the boy that be doing so that, that video? Was I'm that like, was that the bro. was that the weirdest part? Was that the weirdest place that you were with somebody that recognized you? I say no. I ain't gonna lie, nigga. The 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 weirdest place somebody recognized me was walking out my goddamn front door, bro. Oh nigga, yeah, I was, Now I'm talking about, bro. I walked out my. Weird. I'm talking about. I'm I'm walking out my front door, and it's just such a coincidence. Somebody walking down the street. He walking down the street. Like he like walking past my shit, he like, ain't you crazy? Oh hell! He's like, he's like damn, and it's just like, man. You definitely gotta get out of bar with yeah, him. Man, I don't, I don't like motherfuckers. You feel me? I don't even like motherfuckers. Period. So it's like, no motherfuckers snowing. Who the fuck? Where the fuck I live at, bro? Okay. I don't even me, be outside and shit. Let me uh, let me ask let me ask where you let me ask this. This part this is a big question. This is a question that I haven't asked anybody else. Um, I'm scared to ask this question because I'm scared it's gonna leave you stuck. Where do you mm-hmm. think? All right, I'm gonna. I'm just gonna say it. I'm not Go gonna ahead. keep building it up. You know, you know the business you in the content creation influencer. Where do you think? For oh yeah, for you guys watching this, he's he's not of age to drink, and I'm not giving him liquor. That is what is it? Tell him what it is. Men and maid, fruit punch. I'm not. I'm not it's one of them. Alcohol. Hey yo. And this nigga lying. Hey yo. <laughs> He trying to drug niggas, yo. See, I'm not Bill Cosby. Bill Cosby is going back to jail. All right, let me go back to the question. All right, he he's joking, guys. He's joking. He's joking. He's like, nah, ain't shit in there, y'all. <laughs> um, um, you, you're 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 a content creator. You're an influencer. Where do you feel like the future of this is headed? Type thing. Do you feel like it's gonna be AI influencers? It kind of already is a thing. If you don't know, the future, the future is like. I don't know, bro. It's scary thinking about the future, bro. Cause it's like, shit. Everything changes. We can't, you can't never really speak on the future, cause it's like everything be fucking changing now. Cause it's like now everybody a content content creator, kind of like, mm-hmm. not everybody, not more so in Baltimore, but like the people who know like how the content creation world is, like more people is starting to be content creators. Cause like I said, everything in life all goes back down to well in society right now goes back to trends and people following after one another. So if they see a bunch of people costing that shit, all these people making money from streamers and shit, they know, okay, if every, if everybody, everybody going to hop on yeah. one train. So I feel as though what I see with the content shit, honestly, is certain people is just going to have to learn 
like like we gonna we're gonna see who really good at this shit by who know how to diverse themselves from everybody else. Mm-hmm. Feel me? Like it's, it's like I say, it's, I say YouTube. Like for me, it's like the motherfuckers that watch my the YouTube. I haven't dropped in like I just dropped a horror movie on YouTube, but before that I ain't dropped in like two months because two months, yeah. it'd be hard me thinking of certain ideas because I know everybody do mukbangs, everybody do Q and A, everybody do hot seat spicy challenge, everybody do I did this prank on my girlfriend breaking up prank like everybody be doing the same everybody shit so it's like shit. you just gotta figure out a way to diverse yourself so I feel like the future of content shit people just gonna have to learn to diverse themselves more and more and more you just gonna have to keep it. Like I said, in order to keep up, you just gonna have to keep up. You gotta oh, keep, keep, you gotta, you gotta stay spicy. You gotta stay thinking of something new. Stay on top of your game. Stay thinking of ways to improve and feel me, elevate and shit. Now I know I remember you were talking about um, it took you two months to come up with your next hit. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Um, if you had to give a, if you had to give, if you had to give like tips to a younger creator that's looking, that's watching this video, looking up to us, how, um, how, how would you tell them about? creating the idea for your next content video is that too much Number, of a question no 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 oh, no you good i'm just about to think about how i want to say it literally don't don't underthink and don't overthink that's literally the main shit like i be thinking like you can have an idea like all right let's say if you're thinking of idea no 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 idea is a bad idea basically Literally. because like even what i'm saying now the q and a's and shit like that i still have that in my notes on list of ideas and shit like that it's just not getting done because right now i'm in an era of i need to drop my most quality content mm. then i because i feel like once you get to i feel i feel like certain shit is for certain things like once you get to a certain status mm-hmm. you feel me fucking if Beyonce went on YouTube right now and dropped a mukbang, the whole damn world gonna watch that shit. Shorty, but if, shorty's gonna but, watch that but shit. But you feel me? But if Average Joe drop a mukbang, nobody give a fuck about no, Average no. Joe. So some people, I feel like, like when it come to ideas, just you just gotta be. I don't know. You just gotta be original, man. And, and when I say don't don't overthink is. Cause like I be having ideas that I think is bad, and I still put it out, and the people fuck with it. Like I got plenty of videos. Like I said, nigga, the fucking the video uh that hit that hit a million with that Polo G like. Mm-hmm. I did not think that shit was gonna fucking blow up. I thought that was just a throwaway video. I did not really like that video. For that's real. how. That's what Lil Uzi Vert said about EXO Toy Life. Like I just I just put that shit out on some, just 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 to put out some content. And that shit really went up. I got videos that I thought was ass. Like, I got videos that I was looking at. I was like, Craig, this shit is not funny. And I was just like, all right. I was just like, all right, fuck it. Let's see what they say. Let's see what they say. I still post that bitch and that shit. And everybody dying laughing and shit. So it was just like, feel me? Like I said, you never know. Everything is, is for certain people. Now, this is this is kind of an outside question. You probably, you probably might look at me as an old ass nigga if I ask this question. But this is an honest question I have personally for you. Mm. Um, as you said, as as we talked about earlier, I'm older and you're younger. I, when I was a high school, when I was a senior in high school, you were a freshman type shit. Mm. So the question I have for you: Do niggas like do niggas still be like like what's what's what, what do the kids be doing? Like do they still hit them folks? You know what I mean? Do they still whip? You know what I mean? Everybody, man. Like what's the trend? Should I have been I've been, I've been hearing like she's a lot. You know what I mean? What is she's? You know what I mean? Like she's yeah. sheesh, like sheesh. Tell me that, man. Yeah, you is old, bro, <laughs> nigga. Cause that shit was like, that trend was like nine months ago. Nine months? That was like that's trendy that was, still. Nine like, months is still trendy. Nah, that was like that was like twenty twenty two. Don't nobody say sheesh no more. Like the, oh. I know what you're talking about. It was like a TikTok for real. I never even really said that shit for real, but it was just. So like, what should I be if I want to pick up some? No, I can't say that. A lot of, <laughs> niggas say type shit a lot right now. I don't know lie. That's probably the number one, the number one, like, I don't know, like, I, I want to say national because you feel me, like I said, you got to remember, everybody talk different because we in different cities yeah, and shit yeah, like that. So shit. it's motherfuckers that everybody in the world, it's shit that everybody in the world say, but niggas in Baltimore don't say it. Yeah. But you feel me, like, type shit is the most universal like everybody in the world see that shit right now like if tight I, shit they like tight shit if i go to the club type shit what's what, what's what's the dance that should hit the dance should i should everybody, i do the whip everybody or doing the I, hips bro the hips 
Oh, like the just want to rock shit. Yeah. I just want to rock. You, you know what he's talking about? Everybody, everybody doing the hips. The bro, hips. Let, me, let me get in there. I'm, I'm not. I'm gonna embarrass myself if I try to get in it. Get out, bro. This is a live dance up, tutorial bro. from the network. How do you hit them hips? Get up, bro. Hit me. So this is what you gonna do? What I'm gonna do? You going like this? One, two. And then look. And then look. At you, and you want to, then you go on. Huh, look, 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 look. You bringing this, and they gotta go in that. Oh, motion. with that motherfucker. In that motion, it's like you wiping the window, wipe the table, wipe the table. So it's wipe the table, pat, 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 wipe the table, pat, 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 pat wipe the table. Yeah. And you just put it together. Mm-hmm. 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 I'm fucking that shit up. Mm-hmm. Put it together. There you go. That was lit? That was lit. Hey, yo, the bitches, the bitches in the comments probably going crazy. Y'all know they are. I'm never going to the club with this name. Hey, yo, what, what you mean you're never going to the club with me? You're going to be looking crazy in the club because I'm going to tell you where you fucked up at. What I do? You fucked up listening to me because I can't even dance. I wasn't even just teaching you that shit right. I don't even know how to dance. I, we, we both was just looking dumb. We about to look dumb together. Shit, That's I gotta, what I'm letting you know. Remind me to cut this out part out of me hitting that shit. I wasn't even hitting that little bit. Like, like you gonna them. you gonna listen to my black ass on some other nigga do it like I know how to dance. Bro. Yo, you get a younger crowd. I was, I was stiff as shit. You gonna have to go on YouTube, bro. See, I'm, I don't know. We gonna have to go to Philly or something. That's the that, that's a Philly dance, but Fresh everybody be doing that shit. shit. Everybody be doing that shit now. This is like I don't know. That shit took over the world, bro. Bro, like I ain't gonna lie. When I'm in a club. And like I get a couple drinks in me, like low key you might laugh. Like I be about to hit the jerk in that bitch. Hit the jerk, bro. You, bro. <laughs> Ain't, bro. You gotta, you you need to catch up, bro. Like you need to. The jerk. I don't is know, bro. Hitting. The no niggas is not hitting the jerk, bro. What the fuck is that? The jerk when you when you get down on that bitch on your knees, you get one of these. You don't know about that. See, I can teach you a thing or two. I'm gonna stop. What the <laughs> fuck is that, bro? I'm gonna stop, shorty. I'm gonna stop. All right. That That's was good. not no. The joke, next bro. question. The next oh, no, question. No, 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 no. Don't the next question me, my nigga. You not ready? Just try to skip over and just try to go to the next shit, bro. Rewind that shit back. What the fuck? What the fuck was that? That wasn't a jerk. The jerk is like this. Yeah, that's the jerk, but like in between, don't you know how like to put it in in, in your term, the young kids' terms? Don't you know how you wipe the windshield and you, and you didn't go like that? Mm -hmm. That's like that. Like when you in the middle of doing the jerk, you hit one of these. No, that ain't it. That 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 wasn't. Shorty, it. you know what I'm talking about. That wasn't it. Shorty, you know what I'm. It's cause he here. It's cause that wasn't it's cause it. Here. That wasn't it. Like like and subscribe right now if you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Oh my goodness. So basically, we're going to get to the next question because I was right and you were wrong. And you don't know what you're talking about. No, so that's me, why we're going to the next question. Let me hear you out. Um, uh, if you had to give, it's, it's, it's probably at least, it's probably at least a plenty, couple, plenty couple of niggas watching this right now that want to become what you do. Mm -hmm. You know, um, I remember personally. I, I was talking to a, I was talking to a bitch at the bar that like knows about you. Mm -hmm. She like she was like yeah he like the Baltimore Drewski. <laughs> Niggas called me the Baltimore Drewski. She said that she's light skinned <laughs> and her name is Brandy. So if you so shout out Brandy for calling me the Baltimore Drewski. But I'm the Baltimore Craig though. I fuck with Drewski. We love Drewski. That's, That's my man. But I'm like Craig though. I'm Lil crazy. Craig though. How do you, like I'm I feel Craig like you're not even fat. All right, I ain't even fat. I'm Craig. But so, it's cool though. um, for other creators, for other creators that's coming up watching this, that want to become that that find themselves becoming skits. What are I know I probably asked you and you said uh, keep the trends. What's uh, what 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 are some of the key things that you could give like as far as like um a, a releasing schedule and you know preparation? Like what's some of the things that people should get in tune to to start becoming a creator like us? All right. I'm gonna put it nice and simple. Instagram, you can, Instagram is about knowing when your followers is up. 
That's when you post on that app. I'm going to tell y'all each app. Instagram, me personally, I know it's a lot of mother, like niggas my age or niggas that's in school still. Like, because that's, that's what I be trying to think about when I post. I think about the motherfuckers that's still in school because I know I do got motherfuckers that's still in school. So I probably won't post until like 4 p.m. or like right when they get out type mm-hmm. shit or like mm-hmm. 3 o'clock type shit. You'll never catch me really posting too early like. 11 a.m., 12 p.m. and shit like that because I be feeling like... And then, like I said, I'm thinking about the general population. When the fuck you called me, bro, I I, I ain't called you until, what, like, three-something. I was just, <laughs> I was just waking up, bro. You feel me? Like, I really... I, I be waking up late and shit unless I really got business to handle in the uh-huh. morning type shit. You feel me? So it's like, I know a lot of motherfuckers stay up late, so starting to stay up late now. I don't know. It's just like, that's just how a generation is. I can't stay up late, gang. I, shorty, shorty be trying to throw that shit on me at 11 o'clock. I'll be with that bitch. <laughs> I, bro, I know, like, bro, I don't, I don't know what it is, bro. I just can't wake up 7 a.m. like anymore, unless it's like I said, unless I got fucking go on a damn flight or some shit, if I can go yeah. handle some business or some shit. If I said, if the interview, if you would have told me to be up at 7, I would have been up at 7. You feel me? I don't know. I would like not I said, tell you being on 7. Whenever fucking business come involved, I, I'm gonna I'm get my ass up. But other than if that, any, bro, if I any nigga, if any nigga get in contact with you talking about some doing interview at seven in the morning, don't do the interview. <laughs> but no, oh yeah, let me get back to the uh, back to the uh, the poster shit, yo. TikTok, bro, okay. it's all about luck. It's pure luck. Luck. Like it's literally pure luck. Like pure luck. Pure luck. Wow. Every motherfucker, and I'm not even just saying this just to say. It. Like I'm saying this because I really experience. have experience. Like. Yeah. And I know so many motherfuckers. I know endless content creators that go through the same shit. I know my man's right now. He got 200K followers and he could post a video and that shit only get 500 views or some shit. TikTok, because you got to think about it. When you scroll on TikTok, you see the For You page. Everybody be scrolling on the For You page. Nobody scrolls on the following page like that for real. So it's like, it's not really getting pushed to your followers instagram you post it's straight popping up on everybody's feed yeah, right, yeah if i if i post on tiktok it's not straight popping up on all my followers feed they just going it's just it's just like up to tiktok to kind of push it like so like really that's really what it is like it's literally just up to tiktok to them if they want to really push your content out for real so like i said it's really a motherfucking hassle on tiktok but i can say to my people who want to get into tiktok that's where a lot of the money is right now like you feel me? Like when it comes to the TikTok shit, like they got so many different ways. Like you can just promote, like, like they're like, like, cause they got TikTok shop. They have cups on there. You make a video talking about cups, like you feel me? Oh, and te- you feel me? Commission shit. shit. Oh, you feel me? Yeah, they yeah. do that shit. You got motherfuckers that text you on there and shit like that. Like they actually got a set, set up system, but they got professional motherfuckers, brands and shit that's trying to sell that shit on TikTok shop. Yeah, and they can pay. text you. Okay. You feel me? And just literally ask you, like, you feel me? You want to do this? Shit. Blah blah Whoa. blah. They got a creator fund, you feel me, where you get paid for one minute videos and shit like that. You feel me? I'm gonna give a shout out to my man Vontae. He got a video on his YouTube. I said a video on his YouTube. Vontae, Vontae, Vontae? Yeah, I'm Vontae. Okay. Fucking he got a uh, he got a fucking video on his YouTube channel talking about the TikTok creativity program where it's motherfuckers like me. I know I know motherfuckers personally. I'm not talking about me, but I'm saying I know motherfuckers personally. Motherfucking a hundred thousand a month of motherfucking posting motherfucking videos, Christopher. Shit. Posting videos. You just call me Christopher? Yes, I called you Christopher. Holy nigga. shit. We got a <laughs> we got a motherfucking we got a grind, bro. That's why I say motherfuckers like us, bro. We gotta appreciate, it, bro, because we really see all of this shit bigger for what it is. It's you probably got motherfuckers right now. You might even have motherfuckers in your circle, but motherfuckers just around you, your family, whoever. They they see you doing this and they don't look at it as something that's like serious. Now I see this shit as a fucking million dollar. You feel me? I I I feel like I feel like I'm fucking getting interviewed by fucking you feel me, Gillian Wallow or some shit. You feel me? It's better like, than them. You feel me? It's better than that shit. You feel me? This really like niggas don't realize like anything. Niggas don't realize the value. Fucking pers- is, anything is possible. That's why I say, don't call me the Baltimore Drewski. I'm motherfucking Craig, nigga. You never know. I might be bigger than Drewski one day. You're going to be. You have to be bigger than Drewski. Coming from Baltimore, Drewski is from the suburbs of Atlanta. If if he made it, you good, nigga. But on that note, I'm not going to ask you to expound. The only thing I'm going to ask you for the one of the last questions, if you had to give people three things to take from this interview. Three things to take from this interview. Don't drink alcohol. 
unless you're 21, it's just it's this is sponsored by responsible First thing, drinking. Be your motherfucking self, bro. I'm 20 years old, just turned 20 in August. Had the same mindset when I was 19 and 18. From the heart of the trenches, loved by the trenches, but I don't have to follow the trenches. Just because your big brother was in the streets, your homeboy was in the streets, your man's on that block, you don't got to follow after behind them, bro. I know so many motherfuckers that's really fuck with me that's just for genuinely being me. I never, you feel me? I never did no street shit, no gang activity, no violent crimes, anything, nothing of no sort. And people fuck with me for me. I don't got to put on a persona. I don't got to hop on IG and fucking act like I got fucking 10 bands on me. Keep, <laughs> keep, you feel me? Keep posting up with stacks every day. I don't got to wear clothes and shit no for problem. motherfuckers to like me. Everybody just fuck with me just for being Craig and, and shit. Then, and if, if, you, if you are the, yo, the local young rapper that's posting all that cash on your Instagram, nigga, the only thing that you're doing is building a case on yourself. Because if your music has 5,000 views of video and you telling me this $30,000 in cash and you just look like you're in the projects, what, what, am I the poli- if I'm the police, what am I going to think? Man... Nigga, I, I ain't I ain't gonna speak on self incriminating, bro. I ain't gonna I ain't gonna speak on self incriminating, but just know it's it's a lot of motherfucking that going on, bro. They watch social media, they watching our our Instagram posts, they watching our messages, they watching your close friends, they watching everything. Definitely they the they listening friend. to the goddamn music. Like, do y'all motherfuckers not see Young Thug, the shit going on with Young Thug and shit right now, and motherfuckers out here dropping diss songs, literally, motherfuckers literally be like, yo. Like, I really put, like, yo, we killed Lord John John on 32nd Street at 2.22 p.m. <laughs> on a Sunday, on a Sunday afternoon. You feel me? Right in front of McDonald's. Like, bro, they really put that in a song. And y'all don't think motherfuckers. Like I said, we, we not getting into self-incriminating. Yeah, the second thing, stay consistent. Stay consistent. I know it sounds cliche. It is cliche. Because it's not just stay consistent. You have to do the things around it. Stay consistent, work hard, and remember quality over quantity. You can't just put out a bunch of videos, a bunch just of drop shit. Right, a, a bunch of shit. You wasting time. Like honestly, like we gotta start being real with ourselves. All the rappers and shit keep trying to be a rapper. Everybody don't gotta be a rapper, bro. You feel me? Do something different. Start a clothing brand or something. Sell Shit. some, sell some lemonade. You feel me? Sell some lemons. Fuck, do anything. <laughs> Fuck, start cooking or something, bro. Everybody don't gotta be a goddamn rapper, bro. Y'all niggas is not making it out. We gotta stop this shit, man. I learned that from experience. Everybody, everybody, everybody don't gotta be a rapper, bro. That's my motherfucking advice. Find something else because rapper is starting. Like being a rapper also just fell into the category like with all the other slave jobs and shit like that. It's like just all a part of. You feel me? The agenda, mm-hmm. you feel me? Just being another failed rapper, and then in order for you to be a successful rapper, you gotta talk about fucked up shit. Like you gotta, you gotta fucking, you got, you gotta diss the ops, you gotta diss the dead and shit like that in order to fucking blow up and shit like that. So it's like Lil Durk is the perfect example. Fuck that shit. That shit, that, that shit ain't worth it. Last thing, live life based, learn life, learn life to live your life. And what I mean by that is everything in life we was taught. Everything in life we was taught. Even when it comes down to motherfucking religion, how we feel about race, our history, everything in life was taught to us. So find your own perspective on life before you judge things. You feel me? Mm -hmm. Everything was taught. Everything was everything was motherfucking taught. Find your own motherfucking shit. Cause I got my, cause you feel me. It's so many people out here. This, this is one of the main things that content creators go through. Their parents and shit not even really understanding what the fuck they trying to do. Can't even comprehend. You feel me? Like shit. I I didn't been through that. You feel me? When I first started, when, you feel me? When I was in high school, my mother always told me, Craig, you was gonna be a doctor. You gonna be a doctor. You gonna be a doctor. But why? Why is it that our parents always tell us we gotta go to college and be a doctor? Who the fuck said going to college is the only way? To make money. Like, who the fuck made that shit up? Like, My nobody, parents. Nobody sit back and think and be like, okay. So, you mean to tell me that's just how life is? Like, everybody just say the same shit? So, everybody shit. Everybody say the same shit? Um, that basically, that's basically the three, th- the three things you need to say. The first one 
is um, don't be don't be something you're not be exactly who you are. Hell yeah. The second one is consistency. Consistency, consistency, and consistency. Quantity and quality and over a, quantity. And what's the third one? Learn life to live life. Okay. Go through go through shit. You feel me? Mm-hmm. To really understand how how you want to live your life and shit like that. Yeah, hell yeah. That's a that's that's hell yeah. That's a hell of a message and everybody should learn from that. Um for the last the last thing I'm going to say just closing this interview out is um I'm pretty sure if there's anybody older looking at this, like you probably an OG or whatever. If you were OG and looking at this, I want to tell you that you should learn from these, you know, younger people. You know what I mean? This he's a younger guy, younger than me, and I'm not sitting over here the whole interview like, yeah, you should, you should do this, you should go like, like you don't. Listen, like how I was telling you in the car, like I'm not about it. Like these niggas are grown ass men, and and look at them as that, and learn from them as that. But that's the only thing I'm gonna take from this. And these people are leading the culture, and you're not old ass nigga. Tell them that. I fuck with the old people because no, I'm gonna be fuck old, the old one people. day. No, you're not. But we we don't, we don't fuck with you old ass. Forever twenty one. You hating ass old niggas, bro. Forever twenty one. The young niggas got the ball. Um, mm. on that note, I hope you rewind this episode. I hope you take some notes, and I hope everybody that watches this becomes what they want to be. Um, and that's pretty much it. This has been the number one podcast. This has been the twenty Hold million dollar before podcast. you end. He didn't even tell you. Ain't even tell me that they be hanging down there together. Who? My boss. Hey yo, you just hit me with that. You hit me with a boss joke. Okay, if you see this on the next episode, just know I didn't steal it from him. I saw it on the internet before this episode, <laughs> and I didn't get it from him. It's like, no, I'm gonna give you credit if I use it against somebody else. Nah, I was like, <laughs> that, that joke old. That, that joke old as shit. I stole that joke from somebody. Fuck it, we all steal jokes from everybody. In that note, we mean, you want to give the, you want to do the outro? Um, do you want me to tell you the outro before we do the outro? Yeah, tell me the outro. I bet. Twenty million dollar broke ass niggas. Tune in for another podcast next week. Brow, and that means we're out. <laughs>